Some flavors just don't belong together. <laughs> uh, let's talk about rain. The second day in a row, we've had generous rains here and there across North Texas. The first rains of September here on the last days of it. Live shot for Fort Worth, 72 degrees. It's a quarter inch of rain that's been recorded there at Fort Worth and Meacham. Now we have temperatures a little warmer out to the east of Fort Worth and a little cooler as we look off to the west where we've had all this rain and cloud conditions continuing. But we're going to continue to see these clouds around for the rest of the evening. Look at Arlington and their three quarters of an inch of rain. Temperatures in the mid 70s there. And we're going to probably have uh, this rainfall total in increase just a little bit as we get through the evening hours. But we have, uh, you can see rainfall totals at Arlington there at three quarter, one of the bigger numbers. Rockwall is at a third of an inch, a third of an inch of Fort Worth as well. So not huge rains. And Bowie had over an inch of rain here this morning. But for the most part, it has been mostly light rain, no thunderstorm activity to speak of. But that's getting ready to change. You see a little bit of light rain in Collin County, but here's some thunderstorms trying to get going over Navarro County. This is getting parts of Ellis County and Hill County as well. But all of this general trend is into the metropolitan. At least the southern part. So, yeah, more rain is in the forecast tonight, including the overnight hours. Future sky forecast will roll it forward into the later hours, and you see clouds still around. And most of the rain chances stay out to the west where they've really been all day. That's why temperatures have been in the 60s all day in areas like Graham and Breckenridge. As you can see, into Friday morning, we still got the clouds around. We're going to keep rain chances around for the Metroplex as well. But as the day goes on tomorrow, more dry air funneling in. That means the rain chances really start getting limited to our western counties away from the metro area as we close the day on Friday. So the better rain chances tomorrow for the metro area and to the east is going to be early on in the morning hours up to midday. For, for tonight, we still are thinking the better rain chances off to the west has been the story west of the 35 corridor in our western counties of the metroplex. Uh, to west of there, but tomorrow's kind of the same story. The better rain chances out to, uh, to the west, but we, we include a 30% chance of rain first half of the day. So State Fair opening tomorrow and temperatures warming up only into the low 80s. So another cool day. We'll have this east wind and a 30-20% of rain chance. And I tell you what, we'll, we'll keep it around to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I really think by the time we are on the midway in the afternoon, the skies will actually start to break apart. We're going to have another day tomorrow like we had today. We had this huge temperature difference. It'll be in the 80s out in our eastern counties and where the rain, the clouds are, temperatures are in the 70s all day long. But this is the good news for the weekend. We've got this dry air coming in. You'll notice it at the end of the day tomorrow, but you'll certainly notice it on Saturday and Sunday. The yeah, temperatures are back in the 80s on Sunday near 90, but really low humidity. It'll start to pick up a little bit late Sunday, but Monday and Tuesday we'll start feeling a little bit more humid air. These temperatures get back in the 90s. Little disturbance comes over on Wednesday. We'll put in a little bit of a rain chance, but mostly dry next week.